Hey everyone, welcome back to Dropified Video Training. I'm Riley and today I'm going to be showing you how the Dropified Chrome extension works. Now this extension is only supported by Chrome at the moment, so if you're not using Chrome, you have to switch to Google Chrome as your browser. The Dropified extension is a pivotal piece in letting Dropified do its job. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable it in just a few clicks. Then I'm going to show you how it actually works and how you can use it yourself. So we're going to get started by actually enabling the extension. So once you get to your Dropified home screen, go down for a little bit, and right here you'll see your first goal, and that's to add products to Dropify boards. We're going to install the extension here by pressing Install Extension, and what that is going to do is bring you over to the Chrome Web Store. Once the Chrome Web Store opens, you press this blue button over here that says Add to Chrome. Press Add Extension to confirm, and now you can see right here at the top of your toolbar, you're going to see that the Chrome extension is right here. So now what we're going to do is go back to Dropified. So now we can either go into AliExpress through the Dropified main page, or we can just Google it or enter it into your URL. But before we do that, I'm going to show you what AliExpress looks like if you're looking at it without a Chrome extension. So I'm going to go into Safari, that way I know that the Chrome extension isn't affecting anything, and I'm going to search something simple like Notebooks. So as you can see, let me switch to a grid view, you can see a bunch of the different notebooks that AliExpress offers. There's just a ton of them right here. So now I'm going to go back into Chrome and show you what it looks like with the extension. So right now I did the same search for notebooks, and as you can see there's a little bit of a border around each of the products. And essentially what these borders do is it tells you whether or not each of these items supports e-packet shipping. Now by default e-packet shipping is on, so that way you can tell what products you can and cannot ship more quickly, more efficiently, and for cheaper and that way you can figure out what products you want, which ones you don't. So if you open up Dropified's extension right here, you can choose from a bunch of different options. By default, the ePackage shipping identification is on, like I said. Right here you can see it says show processing time. That way you can tell customers how long it expects for them to leave the shipping facility. You can hide products without ePackage entirely, so if you click that, you'll see that all of the ePackage not supported items are grayed out entirely, letting you focus on the ones that are. In addition, you can hide non-top brand products, which means it might be a little bit more expensive, but you can see which products are selling the best, which ones are recognizable brands, things like that. So notebooks wasn't exactly the best option for that. So now if you want to add products to your store, you just hover over the product and you can press button and now it is successfully saved. So what you can do is you can go back to your store on Dropified, then you can go back to saved products, and there you can see I've saved a few different items right here, but this is the notebook that we just saved. So it actually allows you to go in and change all of the information if you don't like the way the title is, the colors, everything like that you can save before you send it over to your Shopify store. Or, if you actually click on AliExpress, you can open the extension and do that right from the extension. It's pretty neat. You can also send it directly to your store, and if you have boards set up like I do, not for notebooks, but if you click them, you can choose which board it goes to and press save for later. So now if you view it in Dropified, you can go and see your products. It'll open up in the Dropified store, and then you can confirm that the board is actually there, and then you can press either send to my store or save for later if you want to make any changes. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.